Smartphones. There are only four bands of brands of entry-level smartphones called Azra, Bicy, CXQI, and DIPQ. A, B, C, and D, effectively, in a country. Details about their market share, unit selling price, profitability for the year 2016 are given in the table below. 40, 25, 15, 20. Because unit selling price is given, and assume market share refers to share in number of units not share in revenue that will be described as revenue share market share can also denote revenue if you're talking only in terms of overall revenues but here we are clearly talking in terms of units in 2017 sales volume of entry level smartphones grew by 40 percent so all four put together they are the only smartphone brands right so put together their volumes grew by 40 percent CXQI offered a discount of 40 percent so this 30,000 becomes 18,000 which resulted in a 15 percent increase in market share each of the other three brands lost five percent market share so this 15 becomes 30 this becomes 20 this becomes 35 this becomes 15. the unit selling price of the other three brands and the profitability values remain the same. The profitability of CXQI came down to half of its value. This becomes 20. These remain the same. These remain the same. These remain the same. And so CXQI has slashed its price, dropped its profitability and increased its market share. Right. Wonderful. Now let's look at what has been the uh, impact on 2017. And then we'll look at the questions as well. And the questions are very clear. They're dependent on revenue and profit and highest profit. So we need to fill that grid and then reimagine this. And I'm going to solve the stem. And what are we going to do? We're going to say overall numbers X in 2016. Overall numbers will be 1.4X. So it's 40, 25, 15, 20. 15 should become 30. These three are down, 5, 5, 5. These two are same. These two are same. These two are same. 30,000 becomes 18, 40% profitability becomes 20% profitability. Wonderful. Now, we know that market share numbers are based on overall number of units. And so, this is 40% of X. It will be 35% of 1.4 X. Remember that. So, it's better if we can imagine actual numbers. This is X. This is 40% of x, 0.4x, 0.25x, 0.15x, 0.2x. This will be 0.35 times 1.4x, 0.2 times 1.4x, 0.3 times 1.4x, 0.15 times 1.4x. Revenues would be 0.4x into 15k. I'm writing 15,000 as 15k. Be 0.25x into 20k, 0.15x into 30k, 0.2x into 25k. And we can find these numbers, we can find these numbers and complete everything and just solve the answer. But I'm going to go step by step, question by question. Maybe we'll need to fill all the numbers, maybe we won't need to. And let's go to step by step and look at the questions. The brand that had the highest revenue in 2016, 0.4 into 15k, this is 66xk, 0.25 into 20, 5xk. 0.15 into 30, 4.5xk, 25 into 0.2, 25 into 2 is 10, this is 5xk. The brand that had the highest revenue in 2016 is A, Azra. We've got this, this is very useful. The brand that had the highest profit in 2016 so th this is 6 5 4.5 and 5 6 5 4.5 and 5 I'm just copying down the same number profit would be 0 0.6 xk 1.5 xk 4.5 into 4 40 percent 1.8 xk 5 into 30 percent 
1.5 xk highest profit in 2016 is c cxky this number 40 percent profitability is a sizable number that's a lot so it helps to track that so we pretty much fill this and this we've answered two questions but in that process we filled out two columns for 2016 highest profit in 2017 so we're going to find this then this then this fine so this is 0.35 into 1.4 into 15k into 10 percent and so it's a ca fairly involved calculation to find this but let's see if we can see if something is which is higher mind so we're doing 35 into 1.4 into 15 into 10 percent and so here the profitability is three times this is higher priced this is only less than half this is still more than half so it is not a 20 percent of 1.4 into 20k into 30 percent will be higher than a so i don't need to find the number and so 20 percent 20 to 30 30 percent to 20 percent these two will offset each other the usp the unit selling price is higher so b is greater than c d 30 percent 30 percent profitability this is same 20k 25k 20 percent share 15 percent share 20 to 25k is higher but 15 to 20k is higher by a greater percentage so this will be of this will work so the highest profit in 2017 is bysi the beauty here is we don't have to compute the numbers we can compare and then make sense of it we think the closest comparison between b and d 20 to 20 is 400 15 into 25 is 375 both are at 30 percent so this will be higher and we can calculate each number especially because we are given a calculator might as well go ahead and find all the numbers but if that you can do this question without computing the individual numbers the complete list of brands whose profits went up in 2017 from 2016 is we have to find the actual profits here 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 and actual profits here 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 and then compare and that's going to be time consuming i'm going to see if we can we are going to do that I'm just going to see if there is a shorter way juicier way and so think about this here the market share of c doubles right this usp falls profitability halves and so here the numbers this is the price is same profitability is same this is boosted by 40 percent 0.35 times 40 the number is going to be greater than 0.4 20 times 1.4 is 0.28 this is greater 15 times 1.4 is 0.21 this is also greater a b and d end up doing higher numbers in terms of actual numbers not market share than they did in the previous year their usp and their profitability percentage remain the same so a b d all three are going to have higher profits in 2017 than 2016 this works everything has only three choices c x q i simply there let us drop the price increase market share strategy it does not work Let's verify that 1.4 times 32 is 0 0.42 0 0.42 into 18 into 20 percent compared to 0 0.15 into 30 into 40 percent i'm going to compare these two right so 0 0.15 into 40 percent is, is 0.15 into 0.4 just 0 0.06 into 30 this is 1.8 0.42 into 18 into 20 percent or 0.42 into 20 percent is 0 0.084 18 into 0 0.084 18 for 72 27 18 each are 144 plus 7 151 115 5 this is 1.8 that is 1.512 so from 2016 to 17 cxqi falls that is the other three increase 
this is a complete table key thing here we can answer a bunch of these questions we can answer all four questions without getting to the entire table so you could have just said look i'm going to shut my mind off fill in everything and then just answer the four questions in a hurry that's possible doable simple numbers you're given a calculator or you can be street smart about it just compare numbers based on uh, a, a feel for the numbers and then get the answers right both methods will work fine get sufficient practice in comparing without computing it's sometimes frightfully useful